this is the one I'll be remembered for. What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back to another video, or if this is your first time watching, and you love watching hairy dudes eat a Dothraki army's worth of food, then you're in the right place. So I don't know, think about subscribing. What's the worst that could happen? Anyway, Sean Bean repeatedly warned us in that sexy, gruff northern accent, not dissimilar to my own, all those years ago, and it's finally happened. Winter is here, by which I mean the eighth and final season of Game of Thrones is starting tonight. I'm actually slightly excited and I rarely get excited about anything other than Five Guys, maybe. It's pretty much the only TV show that I watch other than Alan Partridge and Curb Your Enthusiasm. You sure? And if you're a fan of the show, you'll know it's long overdue. It's been like two years since the last episode. So I decided to celebrate the start of the final season. I would construct the biggest Game of Thrones inspired Westerosi feast ever seen and then uh, try and eat it. Not sure how that's gonna go though, because there are some interesting ingredients. We got Sir Davos's fermented crab, which apparently is a natural aphrodisiac. I'd hurry to your favorite establishment, or you'll put a hole in that chain mail. Although I'm certain it will have the opposite effect on Mrs. Beard later tonight. Sansa's lemon cake, 100% homemade. Nothing to do with Mr. Kipling, I swear. Arya's cockle and oyster cocktail, fresh from Bravos Harbor. <coughs> One mystery pie, inspired by World of Frey, but don't worry, if anyone from YouTube is watching this, there's no actual human flesh in this thing. I just told uh, Mrs. Beard to buy me a three pound pie of her choice. So I don't know what's in it. Hopefully not human flesh. A couple of Ramsey Bolton's weird post castration sausages. Some genuine red wedding wine. I'm sure it will be full blooded with a stark fruity flavor. I thought I was being clever. I think I've just robbed that joke from the front of the bottle. And of course, my favorite character, the Hound's dish of choice, one entire chicken. You're gonna die for some chickens. Someone is. Love that scene. Anyway, I'm gonna try and calculate the calories, throw them up on screen for you. But without further ado, this is Beard Meets Food, AKA Wingslayer. See what I did there? And this is the ultimate Game of Thrones banquet challenge. Valamogulis. I mean. Who's good? Okay, let's get underway. I'm gonna put the timer in front of this decorative drinking horn and then get stuck in. Where to start? I think I'm gonna have to start with the chicken. Never actually eaten a whole chicken before, believe it or not. It's got rope on it. Skadoosha! What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back to another video. And you know, I've always wanted to do a humongous Game of Thrones inspired banquet. So I thought, what better time, right? The new season starts tonight on HBO. Still haven't decided if I'm gonna stay up and watch it like a total nerd or just wait for tomorrow. Oh, this thing is absolutely full of bones. Ugh. I'm gonna eat this like a wildly. So we're starting with the Hound's Murder by Chicken. I'm not sure what kind of sauce they would use in the Game of Thrones universe. I didn't research enough. But this could use some sauce. Yeah, I thought about barbecue, but on grounds of authenticity, I passed up. I'm gonna try to strip all the flesh off this thing. <laughs> I hope there are no vegetarians watching this. Right, that's, that's almost entirely carcass. So I'm gonna put that there. Yeah, the whole chicken was surprisingly hard to harvest. More bone. For uh, for meat, but I, I got there in the end. Nice little bit of rib cage there. Oh, chicken skin. Gotta love it. Yeah, everyone loves chicken skin. This wasn't quite as crispy as I would normally like, but uh, definitely greasy enough to make it enjoyable. Seven hells on board of chicken. I'm gonna move on to something else. One of Ramsey Bolton's wieners. Absolutely iconic scene, and watch this technique here. That is, uh, that's pro stuff. Anyway, I need to say a big thank you to my mate Florian Hack for this incredible metal cover of the Game of Thrones theme tune. He actually does a lot of the video game covers I use as well, so I'll put a link to all his social stuff below. Check him out, he's a wizard. I love that scene. 
where Ramsey Bolton is like. In fact, I love it so much, I, uh, I do it all the time in my videos. <laughs> Basically, whenever I eat anything uh, sausage shaped. Yeah, I keep thinking I should see someone about that, but look at this. Man, I am pounding that thing. These are big sausages, too. Next, we're going to do the cockles. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think I've had cockles maybe once before in my life. The worst thing is they weren't even the, the worst part. The, the oysters were so much worse. I got smoked oysters. I should have done the seafood first. I like seafood, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't really sit that well with other types of food. Not looking forward to these uh, <coughs> cold smoked oysters. <laughs> I know, it's so good. Oh. I'm supposed to be doing the World Oyster Eating Championships actually in New Orleans in June. Maybe I should rethink that. <laughs> oh. You can tell I'm kind of uh, trying to rush through these. Man, these made me feel so nauseous. I, I really should have left these to the end. They tasted so bad. This is already making me want to throw up. <laughs> right, the crab. How bad can the crab be? Yeah, fortunately, the crab was not quite as pungent. The crab was actually pretty good. We'll find out about the uh, bonus effects later on. <laughs> Put chicken all over the lemon cake. Next we will do some more chicken. I figured the Howl might be kind of a wingman. I suppose he's Arya's wingman, technically, but um, I mean, I think he would like chicken wings. They're certainly more enjoyable than the, uh, the whole chicken. So moving on to the uh, the wings now. Officially not really um, part of the whole Game of Thrones food universe, but um, there are definitely a few occasions throughout the series where you can just see the Hound chowing down on an anonymous piece of on-the-bone meat. So I, th I think he'd be a wing guy, you know. Barbecue probably, not flame-grilled. Haha. <laughs> Tell you, by the old gods and the new, the oysters and cockles were so bad. <clears throat> Those chicken wings almost tasted like dessert by comparison. But anyway, I'm gonna get stuck into the pie. See what's in this thing. I'm gonna try to do a nice cross section for you. Ooh, this looks delicious. Look at that. For all I know, this could be for humans. Look at how thick that is. Ugh. Is it normal to eat a pie like this? <laughs> I actually checked the uh, the calories on this pie alone and it's over 4,000. It's pretty gamey, so I'm assuming it's a game pie, maybe like pigeon or pheasant or something. I think it might have had some rabbit in there as well. It was something that was pretty tough. By the way, I bought this wooden flagon or tank card, whatever you want to call it, especially. It's probably the best thing I've bought all year. A one litre stein. Perfect for me. Yeah, not really sure what suits me more, the, the giant wooden tankard or the Viking drinking horn. The Viking drinking horn smells like horse manure though. Still, I've washed it like five times. <laughs> Sure. Smells terrible. I'm gonna clean the beard off. The best beard in Game of Thrones is that guy who grows two thin beards at each side of his face and then he ties them in the middle. I think that's a great idea. Alright, let's do a time check. 
25 minutes. Okay. I think it's time to crack some of this wed... Wed Redding? Red Wedding Wine. Remember years ago when I ate the Mountain's Daily Diet in one sitting, or I tried to. Clearly the strength has not rubbed off. There we go. That is strong. <coughs> if I drink this entire bottle, I'm going to be chinned. 75 centiliters of wine, one giant pie, and a whole chicken. It'd be a miracle if I don't contract gout overnight. I don't know whether we'll get through it all, but <laughs> I'm going to try my best. No wonder everyone in medieval times died at like four. You can't eat like this every day. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> Let's eat some more pie. If I can cut it up into uh, small pieces, it might be slightly more manageable. Normally pie is kind of um, processed meat. This is like full chunks of some kind of flesh. Yeah, I'm kind of accustomed to pies having a lot of jelly in there or filler, but this was really difficult to eat because it was a lot of high quality meat. Uh, uh, look at it. And you gotta admit that cross section does make it look incredible. It tasted very good. It was very keen and rich, salty in taste. So eating an entire giant pie was uh, was not the most pleasant experience, but it was a good pie, right? It tasted good at the start. I really did enjoy it. You know, there aren't many people out there that could beat me in an eating contest. But I'm sure there are plenty of people that could beat me in a wine drinking contest. Oh, that stuff is like fruity vinegar. All right, thank the Lord of Light. The pie is done. Ooh, that was brutal. <coughs> All right. Oh, 40 minutes. One thing I've definitely got to try is the dire wolf bread. And I actually made this myself. No word of a lie. Look at that. It started to crack a little bit down the middle. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, but to say that I made this myself from scratch, I'm pretty happy with that. Not sure how it's gonna taste though. <coughs> well, it tastes better than the cockles. Yeah, how about that? Go down in the comments and give me a score out of ten for my. Uh Dying Wolf bread baking abilities. I, I'm pretty happy with, with how it came out. The Dire Wolf bread was actually really good on the on the inside. Light, fluffy. I am pretty impressed with myself. I'm gonna have to dilute this wine though. Oh. I have no idea how people drink a bottle of wine a night. Lindsay's mum doesn't know problem. That's a little bit more palatable. These, by the way, they don't really have anything to do with a specific meal from Game of Thrones. I just thought they looked like a um, medieval style piece of bread. So I'm crying out for something sweet now. So let's get on to Santa's lemon cake. How long we got? 15 minutes. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Oh my. The wine is just 
stifling my appetite. <sighs> Look at the anguish on my face there. I'm definitely more Samuel Tarly than uh, Tormund at this point. But it was the wine that was really getting to me more than the lemon cakes. But um, anyway, I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the video in peace. And I'll catch you next time. <sighs> no wonder Henry VIII exploded after he was buried. Ugh. The heartburn I'm getting from this is just mad. Ten minutes. Uh, I really want to throw up now. A little bit like when uh, Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen did that for the first time. That was gross. Oh. Lemon cake. Who likes lemon cake? Oh. 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. I definitely can't do it in five minutes. I certainly can't finish the wine. I have to admit defeat. So close to. I hope you enjoyed this. Whether you're a Game of Thrones fan or not. I thought it'd be something a little bit different. A little bit fun to do. Baking a direwolf bread, that was uh, definitely fun. I'm impressed that I managed to do that, but be sure to let me know in the comments how you'd like to see Game of Thrones end. For me, best case scenario, the Hound kills the mountain with his bare hands, has a little bit of tickle time with Sansa, and then uh, dies protecting somebody important like Jon Snow or something. Anyway. <sighs> I'll catch you next time. <sighs>